the idea that we would even have smart contracts the way they are now is kind of crazy. And I think those crazy ideas from the early crypto days, there is some truth and some merit to many of them. Yeah, maybe it's it's just the time that they're all gonna sort of emerge now. Back then it was about a currency that you could use around the world, private money, you know, divorce from the state. And yeah, now we're thinking actually quite bigger where it's like, it's not just a currency, it's a financial system. Do you think we're coming full circle? Cause man, I remember back in the day, it was all about, oh, let's let's get Bitcoin to pay for a coffee. Or I remember Dish was one of the first, uh, like it was like a, was it IPTV thing or something mm -hmm. like that? You could pay Bitcoin. Yeah. And then Xbox Live had a thing where everyone was freaking out. It was like the biggest thing ever. And now we have Solana with the Solana Pay and stuff like that. Do you think it's like coming full circle where, okay, now we're getting back to payments and getting back to the currency kind of stuff? Yeah. So, you know, there's this Web2 idea that a lot of ideas were just too soon. Um, and there wasn't, they weren't at the right place at the right time. And I, I feel like the Web2 equivalent would be like WebVan versus Instacart. You know, sure, there's some nuances and differences in the business, but in general, WebVan didn't work in 1999. Instacart did work in 2012, whenever they started. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I think you see a lot of that coming back in crypto as well. You know, if you go on the old Bitcoin talk forums, you can go through all these crazy ideas, or at the time that seemed crazy, that now actually people have built and have created, you know, their own separate industries around it. Yeah. Um, just even the idea of smart contracts. Like, I mean, I'm thinking back to, you know, George, you've been in the industry for a while. You know, the idea that we would even have smart contracts the way they are now is kind of crazy if you look back and, and you were speaking to people that were solely in that era and thinking of that. So I think we have, and I think we'll continue. And I think those crazy ideas from the early crypto days, there is some truth and some merit to many of them. Yeah, maybe it's it's just the time that they're all gonna sort of emerge now. Like I remember my vintage in crypto is probably 2011 when I first got started mining Bitcoin and stuff like that. But back then it was about a currency that you could use around the world, private money, you know, divorce from the state and so on. And really, you're trying to create a financial system with that, but you don't have all of the other stuff that goes with it, right? Mm -hmm. So people back then were thinking, oh, maybe one day we'll be able to lend our Bitcoin or we'll be able to do, you know, whatever it is, pay for stuff in Bitcoin or swap it without a, an actual exchange that's a database and we have to do custody. And now we have this thing called smart contracts that it's actually trying to get there and trying to actually realize the future of we should have the financial system itself on chain rather than just the currency. Right. And I think that's the difference from the Bitcoin days. It's like, that was all about a currency and now we're thinking actually quite bigger where it's like, it's not just a currency, it's a financial system, right? Right, right. And the infrastructure also has just changed so much. So many other things are possible um, on pretty much every single aspect of scalability. Yeah. I mean, even from, you know, the Bitcoin days of, of, of now, you know, you have Lightning and you have other things to, you know, L1s like Solana to even now, you know, you have rollups on Solana like Eclipse is building stuff and, and other things that, you know, are gonna enable more scalability. Um, across the entire ecosystem.